Module 1 Home and Away Exercise 1, page 7. One, busy, quiet, place, streets. Two, exciting, boring, nightlife. Three, safe, dangerous, place. Four, clean, dirty, beaches, place. 5. Ugly, beautiful, city, town, hotels, parks, buildings. 6. Modern, historic, city, town, buildings. 7. Cheap, expensive, shops, hotels, restaurants. 1A. In the streets. Exercise 1A, page 8. <music> 1. C. Traffic lights. 2. B. Zebra crossing. 3. G. Bridge. 4. J. Tunnel. 5. F. Bus lane. 6. I. Level crossing. 7. H. Cycle lane. 8. E. Bus stop. 9. A. Pavement. 10. D. Road sign. Exercise 2, page 8. Police, camera, action. Police camera action is a popular TV series of real-life police videos. It is part documentary and part reality show. It features video footage from cameras in police cars, helicopters, and sometimes from handheld cameras too. It focuses on road crime and bad driving. Each episode has a catchy title, and the narrator really draws the viewer into the action. A typical voiceover would go something like this. As we join the scene from the air, the eye in the sky can see the suspect is driving his motorbike very fast through the town. He's driving on the pavement and on the road. There, he's going across a zebra crossing. Luckily, there aren't many pedestrians around or else lots of people could be injured. Now he's going toward the traffic lights. No, wait. He's doing a U-turn into oncoming traffic. That is so dangerous. Look at him now. He's going along the bus lane and up the hill. I hope no one is on the other side or they'll be shocked. Now, where is he? There he is. I don't believe it. He's going under the bridge, just as the police car is going over the bridge. They just missed him. He's going along the bike lane toward the tunnel. Now he's going into the tunnel. The officers on the ground are speeding over the level crossing to cut him off at the end of the tunnel. This is so exciting. Yes, it's all over. They got him. So next time you're channel hopping, make sure you catch an episode. You'll be glad you did. Exercise 4B, page 9. When you get off the bus, walk along Main Street towards the clock tower, go past some shops on your left, and then turn right and go through some big gates into Stanley Park. Walk across the grass and then walk up the hill and down the other side. Go over the bridge and you'll see a row of houses on the left. My house is number 22. 
Call me if you get lost. 1B. Hotspots. Exercise 1A, page 10. Bowling Alley. Games Arcade. Water Park. Shopping Center. Sports Center. Ice Rink. Gym. Amusement Park. Exercise 2A, page 10. A. Teen Low Center. With a selection of trendy shops and food outlets, this is a popular place for anyone who loves shopping. Do you feel like treating yourself to a new outfit? Then come and check out the latest fashions and track down that must have accessory. Open seven days a week. B. The Cube. With the latest video games, a coffee bar and a great atmosphere, the Cube is the place to be. You can meet your friends or have fun with your family. With three stories, there's room for everyone. We offer discounts for students and cater to birthday parties. C. Thornton Centre. Offering a range of classes and facilities, Thornton Centre has a wide selection of activities for all fitness levels and abilities. For fitness freaks, there is a special weights room with a collection of machines as well as free weights. What are you waiting for? D. Derby Park. Popular with people of all ages, Derby Park has a wide selection of rides and attractions. Entrance prices are reasonable and we stay open late every weekend. Ride the roller coasters at night for a thrilling new experience. It's a must. E. Clearwater. Do you fancy learning a new sport? Do you want to hang out with your friends in a fun and relaxed atmosphere? Then come to Clearwater. Everyone is welcome from experienced players to absolute beginners. Open every day except Monday. Join us today. Exercise 4, page 11. Sir. Looks. Starts. Talks. Walks. Wakes up. Z. Drives. Goes. Has. Listens. Studies. Is. Catches. Watches. 1C. Culture Corner. Exercise 1, page 12. Pacific Coast Highway 1. One of the best ways to see California is on a road trip. One of the most impressive is along the Pacific Coast on Highway 1. Stop 1. San Francisco. Ride up and down San Francisco's steep streets on a cable car. Don't miss a visit to see the most popular site in the city, the Golden Gate Bridge. Stop 2. Big Sur. Drive along the Big Sur coastline with its spectacular cliffs and sandy beaches. Look out for the ancient redwood trees, the oldest trees in the world. Some of them are up to 2,000 years old, and they are as tall as skyscrapers. Stop 3. Piedras Blancas. Stop and see the elephant seals at Piedras Blancas. Their breeding season is from December to February. Then the females go to Alaska to give birth to their pups and return in the autumn. Stop 4. Hearst Castle. Last stop, Hearst Castle. This fairy tale mansion has 165 rooms, including 56 bedrooms and 61 bathrooms. There's also a cinema, 
two swimming pools and beautiful gardens. You can even see zebras there. 1D. Everyday English. Exercise 1A, page 13. One, plane. Two, coach. Three, underground. Four, ferry. Five, train. Six, bike. Seven, car. Eight, motorbike. Nine, Taxi. Exercise 2A, page 13. Can I help you? I'd like three tickets. Single or return? That's £35.50, please. Here you are. Just a second. You're welcome. Have a good time. Exercise 2B, page 13. Hello, can I help you? I'd like three tickets to Greenwich Pier, please. Two adults and one child. Single or return? Return, please. That's £35.50, please. Just a second. Here you are. Thank you. What time does the next boat leave? The next one leaves in 15 minutes. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good time. Exercise 4, page 13. <laughs> Pronunciation Sir Sure Short Single City Shop J, ch, jump, cheap, large, check. 1E, survival. Exercise 1, page 14. <laughs> 1. Get stuck in mud. 2. Get stung by bugs. 3. Meet dangerous animals. 4. Get caught in a flash flood. 5. Get a snake bite. 6. Get lost. Exercise 2A, page 14. <laughs> The Florida Everglades, surviving the swamp. The Florida Everglades is one of the USA's largest and most beautiful national parks, and a great place to go to escape from the city. But every year, around 60 visitors get into trouble in its 6,000 square kilometers of swamps. So what are the dangers, and what must you do to survive your trip there? Mud bogs. The Everglades are full of dangerous mud bogs. They can swallow a car or a person in a few minutes. If you fall into one, you shouldn't panic. Moving a lot only pulls you in deeper. Pull each leg out slowly, then lie flat, and crawl out carefully. Bugs and bites. There are hundreds of mosquitoes, scorpions, and poisonous spiders and snakes in the Everglades swamps. Their bites and stings can be very dangerous and sometimes fatal. Always look where you walk. Wear long trousers, strong boots, and lots of insect repellent. Flash floods. It can rain a lot in the Everglades and flash floods are a real danger. A flash flood is a wall of water that can travel at 96 kilometers per hour. Is the ground shaking? 
Can you hear a strange noise like an aeroplane engine? Climb up a cliff or a tree. You have to get to the highest place you can, and quickly. Alligators More than a million alligators live in the swamps, and they hide without moving. So, how can you see where they are? Well, bubbles on the water can be an alligator getting ready for lunch. These reptiles can run up to 48 kilometers per hour. They can't turn quickly, though. So, if you see an alligator, you must run away as fast as you can. Exercise 4, page 15. One F. Places. Exercise 1, page 16. One. D. Block of flats. Two. F. Cottage. Three. C. Bungalow. Four. A. Townhouse. 5. G. Semi-detached house. 6. E. Detached house. 7. B. Villa. 8. H. Penthouse. Exercise 2A, page 16. Dear Debbie, our new house is just great. I moved into a new house last week and I couldn't wait to tell you about it. The house is in one of the most beautiful places you can imagine. My parents call it our little paradise. It's a bungalow with a front and back garden. From the front we have a view of the sea and behind the house there is a forest. It is much nicer than the block of flats in town and my bedroom is much bigger than my old one. I hope you can come and visit me one day. Write back soon and tell me about your house, Jasmine. Dear Jasmine, I'm glad to hear that you like your new home. It sounds much better than your old flat. As for me, I live in a townhouse in the city. Our house is larger than most townhouses. In fact, we have three storeys. From our house you can see skyscrapers, so the view is not as beautiful as it is from your house. I'm also pretty sure that it is noisier than where you live. We are very lucky though, because my parents also own a small cottage near the sea, where we go on holiday. I think it would be a great idea for you to come with us next time. What do you think? Debbie. 1G. Skills. Exercise 2, page 18. <laughs> 1. Do the washing up. 2. Mop the floor. 3. Dust the furniture. 4. Make the bed. 5. Take out the rubbish. 6. Hoover the carpets. 7. Lay the table. 8. Iron the clothes. Exercise 3, page 18. I live in a large flat in the city. I live with two flatmates, Richard and Tony. 
The flat has six rooms, a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, and three bedrooms. My favorite room is the living room. The sofa is really comfortable. It's great living with Richard and Tony. We are good friends and we all share the household chores. I usually do the washing up and take out the rubbish every day. I live with my family in a small town. It's really quiet there. Our house is quite small. Downstairs, there's the kitchen and the living room, and upstairs, there are two bedrooms and a bathroom. We also have a beautiful big garden where our dog can play. Mum does most of the chores at home because I'm really busy studying for my exams at the moment. The only thing I have to do is make my bed and lay the table for dinner. 1i Curricula Citizenship Exercise 1, page 20 1. Petrol station 2. Train station 3. Library 4. Community centre 5. Hospital 6. Post office 7. Bank 8. Police station Exercise 2, page 20. 1. Next, please. Hello. Two stamps, please. Certainly. Here you are. That's £1.20, please. Here you are. Thank you very much. 2. Hello. I'm here to visit my uncle, Mr James Smith. Which room is he in, please? Uh, just one moment. He's in room 203. Go to the end of the corridor, turn right, and it's the second room on the left. OK, thank you. 3. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to borrow these three books, please. OK, can I have your library card, please? Yes, here it is. Thank you. You can keep them until the 15th. Thank you, goodbye. 4. Hello. Do you have any information about community classes and events? Yes, we do. It's all here in this leaflet. You can take it. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Skills 1. Exercise 2B, page 23. I live in a quiet street in a quiet neighbourhood. My house is a small traditional bungalow with two bedrooms and I'm quite happy living here. My neighbours are the Joneses and we get along just fine. They're a nice couple with two kids. They moved in about two years ago, and last year they extended their house to add an extra bedroom. They also put in central heating and a top-of-the-range kitchen and a new bathroom. It looks fantastic, and the house is worth a lot more than mine now, even though they said their heating bills have gone up a lot. The kids are good kids, but sometimes they're a bit too full of life, and I wish they'd be a bit quieter. Exercise 3C, page 23. Today on Studio Radio Live, we ask overseas student Emma Jones how she likes living in London. Emma, you're from New York and you're in London studying geography at London University. Tell us what you think of London. Oh, I love London. It's such an exciting city and the shopping is great. Although I think the shops are much more expensive than in New York. I also love all the historic buildings. New York is full of ugly, modern buildings, so London is much more beautiful. The nightlife in London is really good, too. People say London's nightlife is not as good as New York's, but I disagree. I think London's is just as exciting. Do you think London is a nice city to explore on foot? Yes, very nice. I actually do a lot of walking around the streets of London. I often get lost, though, because the street signs aren't very good. But people are very helpful. They always take the time to stop and redirect me. The drivers are a different matter. In London, they're just like the drivers in New York. They don't stop for pedestrians. And what's your opinion of Londoners? Do you find them friendly? Londoners are very friendly, yes. But so are the people in New York. So there's not a big difference there. Londoners are more polite than New Yorkers, though and they aren't in as much of a hurry.
They always wait their turn at the bank or post office, for example. Londoners also respect rules and obey signs in public places more than New Yorkers. What do you think of the transport in London? Well, I really like the underground. I know people complain that it's slow and say the tickets are expensive, but I disagree. London buses are good too. They're clean and modern, but I don't use them much because the journeys take such a long time. I prefer the taxi drivers here to the ones in New York. They aren't as rude, and they always know where they are going. Do you like the housing in London? Yes, the flats aren't as modern as the ones in New York, but they are much bigger, and I really like that. Neighbors seem to be more relaxed in London too. When I am in New York, my neighbors always complain about my loud music, but people in flats here seem to be much more relaxed about noise. Exercise one, page twenty-four. Venice of the North. Russia is a huge country, and there are many beautiful and interesting places to visit. Saint Petersburg has got many things to see and do for the whole family. The city's central park of leisure and culture is famous for its attractions, and it is a great place to go to have fun. You can visit the Elagino-Ostrovsky Palace of wax figures. Or go on exciting rides at the fun park. In the summer, you can hire boats and explore the park, or even take a steamship ride on the river. In the winter, many people go ice skating at the park's ski center, or sleigh down a steep, snowy hill for fun. Saint Petersburg has something for everyone. If you like animals, don't miss the Leningradsky Zoo with its 400 different types of animals from all around the world. You can also visit the wonderful Durov Animal Theater and see all sorts of animals perform. The Dolphinarium is also a must. Watch dolphins do clever tricks and even sing and dance for cheering crowds, and have a laugh with the funny sea lions. If you have time, you should also check out the famous puppet theater of fairy tales, where you can see old and modern plays. You'll love Saint Petersburg.